Greg Smith speaking. Hello, Greg. How do you do? Uh, yes, hello, Stefan. How are you? Not too bad. I have a slight cold. Last week it was very bad, but now it's getting better. Yes, well, I'm glad to hear that. What can I do for you, Stefan? I'm in London next week and perhaps we could meet us. Uh, yes, that would be very nice. When will you be here? I will arrive on uh, Wednesday the 2nd. My flight arrives at half nine, so I could be at your office at 10. Uh, are you sure that's right? It will take you about an hour to get to London from Heathrow. Yes, I know. Like I said, I arrive at 8.30. So that gives me one and a half hours to be at your office at 10. I'm sorry, I misunderstood you. I thought you said you arrived at 9.30. Uh, no, 8.30. Uh, sorry, of course. Let me just check my diary. I'm sorry, Stefan, but I have an appointment at 10. Why don't we meet at lunchtime? Well, let me see. Uh, I have a date at 12 but I should be finished by 13.30. It's near that uh, sushi place we went to. We could meet there just uh, after 13.30. What about that? Uh, I'm sorry, 13.30 is what time? It's half past one o'clock p.m. Okay, half past one it is then. Great, I'll send you an email with confirmation. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing you too, Stefan. Bye. Bye. Well, communication was a little difficult, wasn't it? They almost got mixed up. Let's see what went wrong. Warum ist Greg irritiert? Es gibt drei Punkte. Stefan hat sich gemeldet mit How do you do? How do you do, sag mal, nur bei der allerersten Begrüßung. Zweitens hat Stefan sich dann ausgelassen über seine Erkältung. Das macht man auch nicht. Drittens hat er gesagt We'll meet us. Falsch. We will meet. Reicht. Die Uhrzeiten in Großbritannien immer wieder eine Herausforderung. Half nine ist 9.30 Uhr, nicht 8.30 Uhr. Und die 24-Stunden-Uhr hat sich auch nicht durchgesetzt. Sagen Sie lieber immer one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock und so weiter. Schließlich hat Stefan was sehr Lustiges gesagt. Er hat gesagt, er hat ein Date. Ein Date ist immer eine romantische Verabredung. Richtig wäre Appointment. Wir gucken jetzt, wie das Gespräch richtig läuft. Greg Smith speaking. Hello Greg, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you too? Yes, not too bad at all. Thanks. What can I do for you, Stefan? I'm in London next month and perhaps we could meet. Uh, yes, that would be very nice. When will you be here? I will arrive on Wednesday, the 2nd. My flight arrives at 8.30, so I could be at your office at 10. Uh, let me just check my diary. I'm sorry, Stefan, but I have an appointment at 10. Why don't we meet at lunchtime? Well, let me see. I have an appointment at 12, but I should be finished by 1.30. It's near that sushi bar we went to. We could meet there just after half past one. What about that? Okay, half past one it is then. Great. I'll send you an email with confirmation. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing you too, Stefan. Bye. Bye. Sie wollen es von Anfang an besser machen? Ich helfe Ihnen gerne dabei. Mit Business English Today souverän kommunizieren, präsentieren und verhandeln für Fach- und Führungskräfte. Dazu viermal im Jahr eine Sonderausgabe. Wenn Sie spezielle Fragen haben, können Sie sie mir immer stellen. Sie können auch persönlich mit mir sprechen auf der Business English Today Telephone Helpline. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.